Getting the old XR 250R ready for uh, first trail ride of 2022. Uh, just been going over everything, making sure that everything is tight. Uh, because I did have a few things off but I had the tank off, had the seat off as I drained the tank. I haven't refilled the tank yet with petrol, so I must do that. You might remember from one of the earlier videos I replaced the rear sprocket and the front sprocket and the chain for an O-ring chain. Very happy how that all turned out. I'll get another ride out of these tyres. These are the Pirelli Scorpions. Uh, they seem to be standing up still pretty well. Uh, as this ride's going to be a forestry ride, um, a lot of it will be on gravel, uh, stony tracks. Um, I don't really want to put new tyres on yet because they tend to get the edge uh, rubbed off a bit on the stones. So yeah, pretty happy with the old bike. Uh, it's important to be really familiar with your bike before you take it off for, out for a ride, especially if you haven't uh, looked it over for a few months. So just checking all of the nuts and bolts, you know, axles and uh, axle nuts and seat bolts and around the tank and even I check, you know, things like the uh, uh, levers, you know, your gear lever, brake lever bolts. Even just to make sure that my manifold bolts are all nice and tight. Come around the front here, check all my tree bolts. These are all 12mm, check they were all nipped up nice and tight. Nothing was loose. Down here on our 10 mils, checked all those are okay on the axle. So yeah, I'll put a bit of gas in it and start the engine and give her a bit of a run. I have already changed the oil and filter before I put it away, so that should still all be okay. Yeah, I've got to change this bloody uh, hydraulic brake line as well. Uh, like the other mistake I made on the CRF 230F, in my haste I went and put the brake line on the outside of the fork so I've just got to remove it off the caliper and uh, tuck it around the back there uh, and re-bleed the brake again which is a bit of a pain but uh, I, I want to do it so I'll probably do that later on today as well uh, I tend to block off all of my pipes um, hoses and stuff when I've drained it so that's a little block there on the hose so the carburetor stop any moisture or anything getting down in there and uh, the tank has been completely drained as I said so yeah pretty happy with the old bike 1990 still sharp still got plenty of years of life left in here um, well there's endless years of life really it's only a matter of reconditioning and um, replacing parts as they break or fail I haven't worked on the engine probably for about 10 years now so it's getting a little rattly but I might um, see how things go this winter. I've got a few other projects to do with the CRF 230F and a little bit more work on my 250 degree and uh, that'll keep me busy for most of the winter anyway. But if I get a, do get a chance I may uh, take the head off and have a little look down inside see how she is on this one. It's a bike that I just tend to um, ride and ride. Uh, she's just so reliable. It's always my first choice. But like I said in one of the other videos I'm looking at taking this one and the CRF 230F out on my trailer and give them both a bit of a ride. That's only about two or three weeks away, so not too far now. Not too long now to wait, so that's one of the reasons I got this out of storage. Have a little go over it, make sure everything's fine. No surprises coming up. Hopefully if I get a bit of time, I'll still get back into this bike here and yeah, get back into taking the engine apart and uh, Checking out that noise still on the flywheel on the clutch basket. It's a little job I must do. Otherwise, uh, that's what I've been doing this morning. It's not a very nice day here today, a bit of rain. So, a good day to be working inside. So it's a little update on the XR250R. Thank you for stopping by. Catch you a little bit later.